the boys will finally not have to listen to me talk about the little things and the energy that can ebb and flow in a game and those little things uh, went Montpellier's way today they were outstanding uh, around that uh, rock area um, and uh, the couple of chances we did have which can give you momentum um, didn't come our way but then I looked at a team at 26-9 who had two options um, and the options were to raise the white flag or fight and they did what um, what embodies what these two people on left and right of me are and they fought to the bitter end and um, for that I'm proud of them and I think hopefully what we've done for English rugby both uh, both for Harlequins and for England has uh, has been a real positive um, are, are we gutted at the moment I'm gutted for these fellas because they give so much week in week out um, and uh, I think now at least I can uh, be proud, be happy that I can call these guys my friends um, in the future, as opposed to uh, someone who they think is their boss. We showed in patches how how good we can be, but it's probably a bit of a story of our season. Um, we didn't have a full 80-minute performance today and didn't deserve it. But just uh, just want to say how proud I am of all the lads for what's been an incredibly tough week for the club um, to go out there and put on a performance like that. You know, I'm really proud of them. Just, you know, hopefully next year we'll go, we'll go one step further and win this trophy. Yeah.